All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Hopefully this thing's running. So anyway, I wanted to update a few things on the um, 944-924-S uh, repairs. And one of those is right here. So I had a problem with my AC hose and basically um, this is a high pressure hose from the compressor to the condenser. And the top part here actually blew off and um, I had to have it repaired. So uh, what originally happened was I, I saw this thing and it, it's a little hard to see, maybe you can actually see it. It's actually oblong. And I don't know if that's from deformation because of the pressure or what. The guy at the shop, you know, I thought maybe it came like that from the shop. He said it, maybe your pressure was just way over the top. And it could be, I don't know. I don't know. <clears throat> You know, I, I set this up with a certain amount of Freon and oil and uh, vac down, did everything you're supposed to do, ran the compressor, and you know, who knows, maybe if there's moisture in the system, it gets uh, hot. I mean, this is Miami, it's incredibly uh, humid here. So anyway, um, he was nice enough, he gave this to me. So he basically put this back on, cut off the old one. Uh, it was only like a little bit longer and I checked it out ahead of time. So basically I took care of the air conditioner problem like that, it took a you know the drive time there, the drive the little bit of wait and drive time back, which you know that's like two and a half three hours here in Miami, so it's inconvenient, but I did it. Um, the actual <clears throat> compression fittings here don't look too hard to put on, so that's something you know with the right tools in your shop you could probably do. And this hose is called uh, um, you know like a Clima Parts ten millimeter AC hose R one thirty four, and you just buy it by the roll or foot whatever it comes. Um, I think you have to order these. I don't know if you can get them from a shop or what. But you can probably make your own hose if you have the original pieces and cut them off. But for me, this was worth it just to leave it to a shop. The actual hose originally was like 45 bucks to have it fixed, okay? So anyway, that's the AC fix on the 924. I just put that on, back down, do all the right calculations. I also have in my hand here, <clears throat> this is the actual uh, rubber uh, trim for my windshield because uh, I previously posted a little bit about my fiasco with the window that I broke accidentally, which can happen, and I went ahead and shopped around for the windshield. So I'll tell you a little bit about that um, now. Uh, this right here is some Safe Flight. I don't work for them. I definitely don't get paid by them. I usually end up paying them, but this is Safe Flight, and that's the company that I went to to have my glass fixed and why because the insurance company kind of defaults to that and says go to them get this fixed seems to be the go-to place for the older uh, 924 944 models and I went ahead and did that now I did call them and ask them to come out to my house they weren't able to come out uh, two times they canceled one for a hurricane another time who knows why so I went into their shop now the shop here uh, is again one of these hour drives in wait around for two or three hours and you know this was on a weekday so it was a little better than normal and in the end the glass got replaced and I'm looking at a bill right now for 265 so 265 dollars for a windshield replacement on a 944 is pretty reasonable in my opinion uh, for me uh, you know like a, a, a needed major repair on one of these cars 250 bucks around that ballpark is uh, doable and not not uh, fatal as far as like keeping these cars going so i went ahead and did that i feel like safe light actually did a pretty good job now keep in mind i have the uh i mean i i've done this now so i know the realm of it and i can tell you there's two windshields one has an antenna on it and it's internal and those are expensive 800 a thousand thousand two hundred who knows how much they really want you have to buy those from porsche direct um, and hopefully they have one around somewhere. Usually Porsche has stocks of those things. However, there is a company called Fuyeo, and I'll get the number here in a minute, but um, there's a Fuyeo, I don't know if I have it on this thing or not, but basically you can do a windshield. The part number I have is FW00360GGN, which he told me that's a Fuyeo window and Fuyeo is a supplier for some of the major companies, uh, Bentley, Mercedes-Benz, BMW, so it is a quality uh, glass replacement. I don't see any, some people talk about the waves that you see, your horizontal, vertical, I didn't see any. And quite honestly, the install was pretty nice. Um, I have a good, uh, I asked them to put another seal around if they had anything, I always thought 
this through ahead of time. So my 924 is sitting right here, and the windshield on here I think was replaced, but they didn't put the seal on. And I've been, they, they have aluminum, uh, uh, basically the, I guess it's not really a seal, it's supposed to be, they didn't do it right. So I bought some after um, used seals and tried to stick them on, and one of them flew off as I was driving. So it's not the greatest way to do it, but I wanted to have an actual rubber seal. So I asked them to put a new one on the 944 to try to make the best out of this whole fiasco. So now I have a seal that I can probably get to um, stick on my windshield. Let me go ahead and show you uh, what I've got going on on these cars. So anyway, uh, this is my 924. S, not a bad car. It's a little bit, came to me a little rougher than the other car. It's been a good car. I'm going to show you a little bit about the window here. So if you look really close here, now this is my, keep in mind, this is an 87 Porsche 924 S. Now this is just stuck on. It is not the way to do things, but it does look better than just having nothing. And up here, there is nothing. So what I want to do is just go ahead and take this extra seal that I have and fit it on there, something like that, so that it actually uh, looks better than it is. And I can probably wedge that in and put some RTV or something strong to hold it in place. I'll get to that another day. So that's just something that I have. And like I said, instead of going out, this was like, a, you know, these little aluminum moldings to buy those used from some parts place in California is, you know, like a hundred bucks and you get three pieces and you're supposed to fit them together. This is the 924 style. The 944 out here is actually um, much better. I'm gonna take a look at that now. Now this windshield here says FY, which I'm thinking maybe it is a Fuyeyo. And I'll leave it here for just a second. There you see the numbers. FW360, maybe that's the same one, or it's the type of glass. DOT is just part of transportation. So anyway, let's take a look at the 944. So on the 944, what I have going on, keep in mind, this was a mistake on my part. I'm going to take a shot of this real quick here before I forget. So the Fuyeo. The AS1, I'm not sure what the numbers are, which one's actually the model number. FW360, you have to take a look at that. But it does have the same little logo here, so I get, it didn't have the Fuyeo on it, but this logo is the same one that's on the other one. But look at this glass. Okay, right now it actually looks like a brand new car minus the dash cracks which is uh, I keep a cover leg cover on there okay take a look at this get a look closer here now I had this seal put on the seal is is actually not bad uh, it's not perfect there there is a little bit of a lift here in the middle and you know it's this seal will not come off driving because it actually makes a little L around the glass and if the glass you know fits in there it, like a U channel and then around here there's just a little bit where it came out short now these are one of the things it's like uh, didn't like it but I'm you know happy with the install for the most part so I've got really nice shiny new glass and I'll tell you something when you're driving these cars from the inside looking out it looks like you're in a new car in other words it's pretty much like glass doesn't even exist okay so that's my experience with the actual windshield replacement um, I'll walk you back here and take a look around this car. This car came to me, I've had it now about a year and a half. I mean, is it not perfect or what? It's pretty good. So this car has um, gone through the system. I've put whatever part needed to be put on and pretty much keep it uh, clean and original. This is not a restore, this is uh, sort of as it was. Okay. And the interior is not bad. I've got some work to do. You know, this is the 30 year old effect where some of the leathers, you know, the hot sun type of thing. But overall, this car is a real gem. Okay? So my 924 came in a little bit rough and a deferred maintenance type thing. And I've been going through that, but it is cool because it sticks. It's got the Momo, it's got the sports seats. I mean, this thing's ready to rock and roll every time you drive it. So uh, what I experienced was this safe light just so you know I'm not making this up 26534 and so when they tell you uh, don't have the glass can't do the glass we don't service those cars call someone else or call the manager and ask them hey 
Tim in Miami says he did it and it wasn't that expensive. Why do I even bother saying this? I'll tell you why. Because my brother had a cracked windshield on one of his 944s and they told him, we don't have that glass and we can't replace it. So you're looking at it right here. Um, you know, you gotta kinda check around. If you have a safe light nearby, it's probably better to go there. Uh, it's very convenient to have them show up at your place, but uh, in the end, it might be better to have the shop at your hands. I basically drove there, left the car, went out in the neighborhood. I mean, my wife was in the area too, so we went out for lunch, did a few things, came back, and it was done. So I'm pretty happy with that. They did a good job. Um, they even threw in a free glass cleaner for me because I asked about what to clean it with, and he's like, here, use this. And so that was kind of nice. So I have good uh, uh, review on Safe Light. I mean, it is the go-to place. Is it the best? I don't know. But hey, my glass is replaced. Um, I did have one shocker, by the way, when I left. This is one of those like, I love it, and then you hate it. I left and my dash, all the dash was down. My, my speedometer, tack, nothing came up. And about a mile or two later, it all popped back on. So I don't know if it was something jiggled loose or during the process of taking off the actual antenna, uh, jiggle the wire somewhere here or there. But thank God it came back on and I'm back to having a dash and I don't have to get in there and do repairs. All right, so that's it for now. This is Tim, Shrakahasi Bros, Porsche Bros out here in the garage telling you a little bit about my window experience. Thanks for watching, I appreciate it and hopefully this helps you out.